Does this look fine? <laughs> Bindi teddy hai. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing great. If you're watching me for the first time, hi, my name is Himadri and I do post fashion and makeup related content on my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. Help me hit 100k soon because that will keep me motivated and I'll keep creating some good content for you all. With that, I'll be also doing a huge giveaway for you all. So that is going to be amazing. And I've been also mentioning this in my previous videos that majority of my audience they aren't subscribed to my channel which is kind of demotivating I'll be very honest and if you are one of them you should subscribe right now hit the red subscribe button with the bell icon so you are notified whenever I upload a new video so in today's video, I will be sharing a very easy peasy Indian makeup look. You can wear this during the wedding season, the festive season, to a party, event maybe. It's going to be a very universal look and you can literally pair this with any outfit. So if you are interested to know how I got from this to this, then you should definitely keep on watching. If you have been following my channel or tutorials, you must be knowing that I am someone who believes in less is more. I like to keep my base very natural looking and this is something that sets me apart. I don't believe in heavy cakey makeup because honestly speaking, it looks good on camera but in person it looks really bad. So I try to keep my tutorials very very realistic and what I have learned throughout these years is the key to get a flawless looking skin with makeup makeup is skin prep. I always start my tutorial with a clean face and then I heavily moisturize my face so that there are no dry patches peeking through. But today I will be using this very interesting device that I came across. This is the Foreo UFO. I have been using the Foreo Luna Mini 2 religiously for so many months and I love the results. This device comes with two different activated masks. This one is Make My Day which is for hydration and protection against pollution and it also has hyaluronic acid and red algae. This one is Call It A Night which is for revitalizing and nourishing and this this has ginseng and olive oil. It's daytime so I will be obviously using the make my day activated mask. I'll turn on my device first. It's turned on and I'll connect this with my UFO app and I'll start my treatment. Allow your mind and body to slowly awaken as the red LED and a gentle warmth prepare your skin to receive the full benefits of this complex. Relax and enjoy a soothing facial massage as T-Sonic pulsations infuse moisture into your skin for a radiant, healthy-looking complexion. The warmth gradually decreases. The anti-pollution formula is locked into skin while the green LED helps reveal a brighter, more even skin tone for an all-day glow. After my treatment is done, I'm just going to massage the excess serum. You can see how instantly my skin looks glowy. My skin feels very soft, moisturized, firm and plump at the same time. This, you guys, is advanced skincare. It has red and green LED light and it produces different forms of vibrations which will increase blood circulation and there are a lot of benefits of red and green LED light. This device will make sure that you are having full benefit of your sheet mask. If you want to know more about this product and if you want me to do a full dedicated video, I would be more than happy to do that. After that's done, next I will be using the Nykaa Prep Me Up Primer. It is a silicone based primer which is great for blurring out any texture and pores. And the best part is it is pretty affordable. So I'll press this product on the areas where I have more texture and pores. So that would be around my nose, on my chin area, 
and also on my forehead. For foundation, I'll be using the Nykaa Skin Genius in the shade True Tan. I'll be using this today because I love the finish of it and how natural it looks on the skin. And this shade matches me perfectly. A great tip here if you want to have a flawless looking skin, always use a damp beauty blender. A damp beauty blender will soak up any excess product. So there is no chance that your face is gonna look cakey. You can see how natural this looks and you can definitely see my skin peeking through, which I love. I just don't like having that extremely flawless skin that somewhat looks extremely fake and uh, it does not look natural at all. All. So I like my foundation to give me an even skin tone rather than covering my flaws. For concealer, I'll be using the Maybelline Age Rewind in the shade Caramel and I'll apply this right under my panda eyes. To highlight my face, I will be using the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade C12. This is slightly lighter than my complexion. So I'll apply this right under my under eye. On the bridge of my nose. I won't apply any product on my forehead because right now I'm having a lot of texture and Sara attention here draw karega and that's not a cute look in person. I will immediately set my under eye concealer because this is the area that creases the most for me. So I'll be using the Sugar Cosmetics Banana Compact Powder. This has a yellow tint to it which will brighten up my face. Before I start doing my eye makeup, I will first fill in my brows because usse mujhe idea lag jayega how my face is looking it will also frame my face i will personally feel good about myself because right now i feel like that i don't have brows so today i'll be using the anastasia dip brow pomade in ebony you see filling brows make a huge difference it has literally changed my face and i feel so much better about myself now okay everybody for my eyeshadow i will be using the makeup revolution soap extra spice eyeshadow palette and for my transition shade i will start by using this light brown color which is uh, called cookie dough on a pack 273 eyeshadow brush place a card right here as my guide i'll start blending this shade above my crease Next, I'll take a darker brown shade which is called Cheesecake on a detailer brush and I'll apply this on the outer portions of my eye. Unfortunately, this palette does not have a black eyeshadow uh, so I'll be using my Morphe Jaclyn Hill eyeshadow palette and use this black eyeshadow and I'll use this to deepen up the outer edge of my eye. Next, I'll use a flat brush. This is the pack 207 and I will use a very light shade which is pretty close to my skin tone and apply it in the inner corners. For my eyeliner, I will be using the NYX Matte Liquid Eyeliner. after my eyeliner is done what i will be doing next is i'll take this miss claire pearl eyeliner this is actually a glitter eyeliner which is very very pretty and very affordable it is kind of a dupe of the uh, urban decay glitter liners but this is way more uh, cheap so what i'll do is i'll create a parallel line along my eyeliner for mascara, I'll be using the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. For my eyelashes, I'll be using the Pack M72 lashes. I'll also add a nude eyeliner on my lower waterline. 
This one is from Pixie, but I know uh, Pack Cosmetics also has a great eyeliner. So you can definitely check that out. Next, I will apply some blush and today I'll be using the Laurel Paris uh, Mono Color Powder Blush in the shade 10 Play With Me. And I'll apply this right on this area of my face. For highlighter today, I'll be trying out this uh, new K-Beauty Illuminating Highlighter in uh, the shade Honey Glaze. And this highlighter says that it has avocado and mango butter in it. That's pretty. This is a very pretty highlighter. It is so blinding. Set my face, I'll be using the Back Micro Finish Makeup Fixer. Love the fragrance of this and the mist is so fine. It's just beautiful. You should definitely give this a try. For my lips, I'll be using the Gerard Cosmetics uh, Lip Pencil in the shade Sugar and Spice. And I'll overline my lips very slightly. And for my lipstick, I don't even have to tell you which lipstick I'm using. Uh, but if you're watching me for the first time, I'll tell you. This is the Sugar Cosmetics uh, Nothing Else Matter Long Lasting Lipstick in the shade Browning Glory. And for my bindi today, I think I'll go for a dark green one which matches my dupatta. Does this look fine? <laughs> bindi teddy hai. That's the finished look everybody. I love how subtle this look is. You can literally pair this eye makeup with any outfit, uh, even if you're wearing a red, pink, orange, yellow, blue, uh, white, uh, black, whatever outfit you're wearing. Really quickly, I wanted to mention that these beautiful earrings are from Nia. It is an Instagram page. I'll link that in the description box below. Definitely check out their page because they have some amazing jewelry. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. If you did, give this a big thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram to be in touch. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye. Mwah. Thank you.